I don't use my phone for that many automation tasks, but of the years I have come accustomed to a couple. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you one of them. Today, today I'm gonna I'm show you how to create a quick settings tile that will change the brightness level of your device. For me personally, I have a brightness tile on my phone that when I tap it will cycle through two different brightness modes. I use it for an indoor brightness level because I can reduce the brightness of my phone typically whenever I'm inside. And then I have an outdoor brightness level. So anytime I go outside, I be, I'm sure to bring down the quick settings pedal, uh, panel and then tap that brightness tile that I specifically created for that task. And to do this, I'm going to be using the application Macro Droid. I know Tasker is generally considered to be more popular. I prefer Macro Droid simply because the user interface clicks more for me. I can understand the cause and effect type of interface much easier than Tasker, which to me is generally too complex for my basic needs for automation tasks. So you're going to need to download Macro Droid from the Play Store. I'll have it linked in the video description for anybody who wants a direct access to it. So whenever we open up Macro Droid, it's going to give you a basically an introduction to how things work for triggers and actions. And then as far as constraints are concerned, this is not something that we're going to be using in this video, but it is something that can help your automation tasks be smarter. When you open up the app application, this is the screen that you're likely gonna see. And we're going to start by tapping the add macro button right there. And again, this is how the user interface works. We have a trigger, we have an action, and then this constraints part that we're going to ignore. Our trigger is actually going to be the quick settings tile and the action is going to be the brightness changing. So in the triggers section, we're going to tap on the plus icon. This is going to be our category list. If you want, you can search. We can also tap on the macro droid specific. And right here you can see a quick settings tile. Now if this is the first time you're using macro droid, you're likely going to see this setup like that, but we can tap the configure quick settings tiles and we can actually change the name of our custom quick settings tiles. So as I mentioned before, my quick settings tile for this is set as brightness. And I have it set as a toggle because I toggle from one brightness to the next. You can set this as a button if you want, and you can only have it to increase or decrease the brightness to a certain amount whenever the button is pressed. But I'm going to be using the toggle right here again, for my specific case. And I only need to create one in this specific instance. So whenever you go back after you configure that tile, instead of it being named Macro Droid Tile 2, it's going to be named whatever you named it in that last screen. So then we're gonna tap on OK. Now this macro that we're making right now is gonna to be to lower the brightness. So we're gonna set it as the toggle off option. And then right here, we're going to tap on the plus icon for the actions section. And again, we have the ability to simply search. You can see the brightness action is under the screen category, and then we can tap that. Again, if this is the first time you're using macro droid, you're going to get some of these pop ups like this. And in order to change the brightness, we need to enable right settings. And we're able to do that from system settings. So we're just going to tap on OK. 
It's going to bring us to this secondary screen. We're going to tap the toggle to enable macro droid to modify system settings and then go back. Now this time whenever we tap on brightness, we're going to get the actual pop-up for brightness. Now again, since this is the lower brightness macro, this is the where we want to reduce the brightness. So say we wanted to change it to about 6%, we would set that there. You may need to experiment with these additional options. However, I would suggest ignoring them at first, checking to see if the basic implementation works well for you and then going back and editing this macro so that you can change this and ex again experiment with these additional options this phone is a xiaomi phone so i may benefit from using the force value option however if you're using a pixel device that may not work for you and we also have this drop down menu that may appear for some people so once we have set this to a low value right here, we're just going to tap on OK. And again, we need to name this. So we're just going to name it Lower Brightness. And once this is done, you can either look in the three dot menu to save changes, or you can tap the back arrow and then save changes right there. So what we have done is we have created a tile that lets us lower the brightness. So now let's create the opposite toggle on that tile to increase the brightness. So again, we're gonna go add macro. Let's go ahead and name it increase brightness. And then we're gonna use those same triggers. We're going to go triggers, macro droid specific, quick settings tile. We're still going to be using that brightness toggle. This time we're going to be setting it to toggle on or button press since the last time we set it to toggle off. And then before we're going to tap the plus arrow on the action. You can tap the screen and then choose brightness or we can search for it just like before. And again, we're going to increase the slider to make it brighter. Set this to any value you want that you are comfortable with for this action. Tap on OK. And again, we can save changes that way or tap the back arrow to save changes. So as of right now, we have added two macros to MacroDroid. We've configured them to work on the brightness quick settings tile, which you should likely are not going to see yet in your quick settings panel, but that's okay. And with that done, we can tap the macros tab at the bottom to see we have both a increase brightness and a lower brightness macro that has been created. Now since we are using a custom quick settings tile, we're going to need to add that. And adding that will depend on which device you're using. This is a Xiaomi device, but I'm running an AOSP custom ROM. So I'm going to have a little icon right here that lets me edit my quick settings panel. If you're using a Samsung device, it may look a bit different for you. And you may need to do a quick Google search to find out exactly how to edit your quick settings panel. But as I'm scrolling here, you can see we have that macro droid tile one because we have only configured one tile so far and we can tap and drag that up to our actual quick settings panel. We can add it right to the end. Now whenever we go back, 
we're going to see that brightness toggle or that brightness quick settings tile is there. We can access it at any time. We can even bring it up higher so that it is visible in our first drop down menu for that. And we can change the brightness of our phone by tapping that toggle. You can see this does not require root access. And it will let you quickly and easily toggle between two different brightness settings directly from the quick settings tile.